Okay, so on 10 August, we had our first show in front of an audience with hair and makeup, which I think I again put a shot from in the August recap video. But one of the things, and I might have spoken about this in one of my earlier rehearsal videos, but there is a line that goes done, someone says done, and then three of us have to respond done. And I think I did talk about this. Anyway, so we haven't been able to get it right once since that rehearsal where we got it right at the very end for the very last time. And on the very first time in front of an audience, we somehow managed to get it all in sync. And you could just see, I mean, we were all staying in character, but us, especially because it went into a blackout, you could just see everyone like on stage smiling that we got it. And also when you walked up, everyone was very excited because it has literally not happened since the rehearsal. And we've done a lot of rehearsals since then that we've all managed to be in sync. So we were just so proud of ourselves to finally be in sync. Okay, so I don't have any more voice memos that are describing to me what's happened. So I'm now trying to remember back to one and a half months ago with just from what I can remember. But it's pretty vivid in my mind because it was really some of the highlights of the last, I would say year really, because it's just been, it was honestly such an incredible experience and I'm so happy and lucky to have been a part of it. So on 11 August, it was a Saturday night and they were like, do you know what? You guys suck at the moment. And actually I gotta get back to that. We need another rehearsal. So our director got in someone who used to be the director for the shows and she helped us so much. In that, on that Saturday night, we made such, a, such an improvement, it was insane. And it was really good because she has this really loud laugh, like big laugh, you know? Some people just have those like big contagious laughs, which is perfect because it's meant to be a comedy and she actually ended up laughing louder than at least the first two audiences, maybe also the third and the fourth. And she was just, she really helped us get the jokes and also, you know, deal with laughter and have an audience because the first audience we had on Friday was really not that good. What I wanted to get back to the hope was, I think it was three days before our first show, our director just mumbles to himself and the person who's doing the lighting. It's like the play that goes wrong because it was just that bad. It was so bad. And then 12 August, we had a double show day, which was so much fun. And in between, we went out to get lunch to this place where people always go during shows, but I've always kind of stayed away from it. I don't know why, I just always wanted to stay nearer to the venue. And for the first time in forever, I went. It was interesting. It wasn't like the best experience in my life, but I'm glad I did it. It was fun though, because we were with all of us. Our two first two shows had terrible audiences. No one laughed, and if they did, it was like the tiny little pity laugh. It was really not good. But then Monday night, we had such a great audience, which was fantastic, it was really nice. And then Tuesday night, oh, I'm so excited to talk about Tuesday. <sighs> Where do I begin? There's so much to say about Tuesday. Okay, so on Tuesday, I woke up pretty sad because I was like, this is our last day. This is my last show with this company. And I'm really, really sad. I was really sad. I still am really sad. And the whole day I could feel it, the whole day I was sad. And then it got to the show. And the entire show, I was telling myself, Raquel, get through the show, don't cry yet. And it got to the end of Act 1. Then in Act 2, as I said, I kind of start halfway through. And my desk is set up. I sit at a desk for, the open, for when I first get on. And so it was set up side stage, ready for me. So I had to sit on it. And I had filmed pretty much every single part of that show because Every night I filmed something else and between everything I had, I filmed nearly everything. I was the person who like made a video at the end and just filmed everything. But my phone died and I'm so, so upset because someone decided to improvise something and wow, what a mess it made. To give a little backstory, the, this character is meant to be trying to catch butterflies the entire show and always misses. But because it was the last night, we decided to break the prop that had the butterfly on it so that we could pretend the character had actually caught it. It was a mess. So they come on stage saying, I caught the butterfly. But usually this character slams down his net with the butterfly, not in it. But because the butterfly was in it, the other characters on stage had to respond to that and be like, why are you hurting the butterfly? Don't be mean to the butterfly. So they kind of made up this entire scene about the butterfly. And then when you thought it was over and the scene was finished, they came back to the butterfly. It was, the whole audience was laughing. The people on stage started laughing too because it was just so funny. And I mean, the director at first wasn't happy, but now he's kind of been like, ugh, whatever. But it was, and I was sitting at my desk at side stage 
and I was bent over laughing. I could not breathe. And I was meant to go on after this and I was like trying to compose myself. Anyway, it was a great way to end. And then <laughs> it got to bows and I was kind of like, okay, at that point. At that point, I was still thinking maybe I can, you know, not cry. Anyway, so I get on stage, not crying. And I bow, not crying. And then the two leads come on, they bow, they get an applause. We all walk forward, we all bow. I'm this close to crying. Anyway, so I'm like, can't cry, can't cry, not on stage, you're still on stage. Anyway, lights go out and literally I stepped off the stage and just burst into tears. And my friend goes, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, it's my eye. I had an eye infection as well. So at that, like that I only got two days before and the entire time my like left eye, I think it was, had been like tearing and whatever. And I was saying, I'm not crying, I'm not crying. And so on this last show, I'm like, I'm not crying. It's just my eye infection. It was not my eye infection. I was bawling, everyone knew it as well. So anyway, I spent the rest of the next like three hours and thump out and everything just crying. And I made two or three others cry just because I was crying and just lots of thank yous and goodbyes and oh, and it's not like I'm never going to see them again. I saw them probably the next day, I think it was, but it was just, it's so sad when I finish a show, I hate it. I really hate it. 